Coming up with our, what we're going to do is a quadratic regression. We're going to use the stat button right in the middle. That gives us this menu. It comes up edit, calc, tests. Later, we're going to go over to calc. Now, in the past, you've done number four, linear regression. Did you do like quadratic, cubic regression, other kinds of regression last year? Right. It works exactly the same. Okay. We're under edit right now. So the very start, I want edit. So I go to enter, and it should give me those columns. L1, L2, L3. If you have some things in there, we'll arrow up to the top and hit the clear button and enter, and it'll, it'll wipe things out for us. So if we have things in there, we'll arrow up to the top, hit the clear button. If you hit the delete button, like delete, okay, it deletes the entire thing. It's gone forever. There, I just hit delete for everything. Gone forever. Don't hit delete. You've got to go to Staples and buy a new calculator. Fortunately, I've got a backup with me. Wait, are you not kidding? You, no. I am kidding. We can get around. So if you... All right, we want L1, L2, L3 up there. If you are missing something, if you are missing something, back to stat, down to number five, it says set up editor. If you are missing something, set up editor, hit enter, puts it on the home screen, hit enter, it puts everything back for us. So we're in the edit menu. We're gonna create a table of values. L1, list one, is going to be our T values. So we've got coordinate one, coordinate two, coordinate three. L2 are going to be our X values. So we have nine, eight, then one. And list three are going to be our Y values. Negative six, three, four. So it's putting our table of values into the calculator. Did I have Mess something up? Did you, you hit five and four? Oh. Like a, okay. Thank you. Negative six, three, and four. We can see this on the calculator. I'm going to turn my stat plots on. If I do second y equals, second y equals, we can turn the plots on to see the graph like where those points are. That's how I had the points up there originally. So I go to plot one. I'm going to turn it on. And I want that first option is the scatter plot. Now notice that I have X list, Y list. X list says L2, Y list says L3. That's saying I'm pulling my X variable from the list two. I'm pulling my Y from list three. I can change that. I'm going to hit Second, now you notice above the number pads, one, two, three, there's L1, L2, L3, et cetera. If I want to change one of those, I'm going to hit uh, where I need L2, I'm going to hit second two. For the Ys, I'm going to hit second three. So that allows me to change things. I want L2 for the X list and L3 for the Y list. Because from our table of values, T was list one, X is list two, Y is list three. I'm going to just put us all the same window, so zoom, uh, nope, nope, zoom, oh no, 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 that's not what I want. Zoom 6, zoom 6 is Z standard, zoom 6, so zoom dead center top, number 6 Z standard, just so that puts our window to be all the same, that puts our window all the same, um, so we can see our three points there. We want a curve. Syntax, okay. Clear. If you have anything in Y equals, if you have anything in Y equals, delete it. If you have anything in Y equals, delete. All right, any errors? Do we have our points? Okay. Minus, I don't think minus.
We've got three points up there. We are going to come up with one equation that gives us our x, one equation that gives us our y. Mode. Uh, radian shouldn't matter. We are in parametric mode. We are in parametric mode. No, it just changes how you graph. So the parametric takes us, instead of being y equals, it's x1 equals, x2 equals. It gives us a t. All right. I'm going to go back to stat. Stat, dead center of the calculator. We're going to go to calc. Now, we are going to come up with one equation that gives us the x for our parametrics. We're going to come up with one equation that gives us the y. So we have three points. Three points gives us a quadratic equation. I'm going to go down to number five. It says quad reg. Quad reg is the parabola of best fit. Just like linear regression is quadratic regression. It's going to give us a best fit, best fit parabola based upon the t and the x. Then we're going to do one for the t and the y. So quad reg. <coughs> now here, the calculator default is x and y. We know that this, for us in parametrics, is actually our independent variable should be t. And the dependent variable is going to be x. And then the dependent variable is going to be y. Under x list, now your calculator might not show this. If it, if it popped up quad reg on the home screen, one moment, we'll get there. So x list should be L1. Y list, I'm going to do L2. If your calculator, if your calculator just popped up and said quad reg on the home screen, at this stage, we need to do L1 comma L2. So if you're on the home screen, quad reg L1, which is second one, comma is immediately above the seven, L2 is second two. Calculator has the, uh, the menu there, L1, L2. Calculator does not, it's L1 comma L2. Enter or calculate. It gives us an equation that goes through the x values. So it just gave us. Okay, if you have an r and an r squared value, it should be one. That's the percentage of how well it fits. It's called your correlation coefficient. It's the percentage of how well it fits. One, one, it hits 100%. Go down to calculate, hit enter. So this really is, now it says y equals ax squared, but this is our parametric equation. This is x of t equals a t squared. So negative 3t squared plus 8t plus 4. We have an equation for the x. Whoa. Now we need to come up with an equation for the y. Well, quad reg, we're going to do a quadratic regression. We have three points. Three points gives us a second degree polynomial. So quad reg, our t is coming out of list one, but we want y. y is coming out of list three. So next we're going to do quad reg L1 comma L3. So stat, we have our equation for the x. Stat, over to calc. Number five is quadratic regression. 
The X list is still list one. That's where our T values are coming from. The Y is coming out of list three, so second three. So I've got the X list is L1, Y list is L3. Calculate. If your calculator put the quad reg right back on the screen, it's quad reg L1 comma L3. Calculate. Gave us an equation. This is our Y equation. This is our Y equation. That's really Y of T equals negative 4 T squared plus 21 T minus 23. So we have an equation for our x based upon the points that we came up with. We have an equation for our y based upon the points that we came up with. Now let's go back into y equals. We want the graph to hit those three points perfectly, to start at one of them and draw around and hit finish at the other. So back into y1. Under x1, I'm going to type that x equation, negative 3t squared, so forth. I'm going to put in the y equation. Now when we go to graph, oops, why is it not working? Oh, nope. T-min, T-min, we got to go back to the T's. Under the window. Under the window, sorry, I'm not thinking. T, what's the starting T value that we have? What's the actual starting T value that we have? One. One. What's the largest T value that we have? Three. Three. And let's go by uh, T-step be like, 0.1. T-step should be 